Hi everyone, so just doing a quick tutorial on how to make liquid Castile soap. Lots of customers have been asking how to do it and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do. Need a few bits of equipment to do it. Um, stick blender. A, what is that called? Um, <laughs> heater wrapper thingy. You know, a crock pot thing. That you need know, a crock pot thing? Yeah. These need to be dedicated pieces of equipment that you don't use for other things. So don't use the ones from your kitchen. Buy a separate one. Can be smaller than this. We use a lot bigger here. Um, some Pyrex jugs, and then you need the ingredients. The ingredients you need is distilled water. You want distilled because it's um, devoid of minerals, so it won't mess with the um, overall working of your recipe. You need um, potassium hydroxide, and this is an alkali, it will burn your skin. Um, if you remember Fight Club and the kiss on the hand, <laughs> that was that. Um, <laughs> so, wear gloves. Yeah. And then the only other ingredient you need to make this is an oil blend. Now this is our oil blend that we use to make our castile soap here at Fine Essentials. It's a combination of hemp, coconut, castor, coconut and avocado oil, mostly organic oils. Um, it's already blended out to work for this recipe. Um, now the first thing we have to do, and then we're going to pause and come back, is we just need to make the lye. And lye is combination of the right amount of water with the right amount of hydrox, uh, potassium hydroxide. So, water first, and you, this recipe sheet will be um, posted with the blog, so you can actually just download it and make it. So we need 140 mils of water, or grams. I always work in grams. This is room temperature water. Do not heat it, or you'll have an explosion. And then, so that's 140 grams, and then we need 72 grams of potassium hydroxide. Now we always add the potassium hydroxide to the water, never the water to the potassium hydroxide, otherwise you will have an explosion as well. So we're going to measure out. And I'm just, you know, putting them onto a plastic spoon there, so it's, you can use plastic or wood, but just so it doesn't sort of um, splash up. Yeah, never put your face over the jug. That's exactly right. It does actually produce gas that you don't want to breathe in. So you always just stand back, don't have your face over the top of it when you're doing this. Now with the same spoon, I've made sure that those ingredients are the exact right amount. Mm -hmm. And you'll, you'll hear it sizzle maybe. And it's actually heating up and that's a reaction that's creating lye. So it's quite murky looking and if you're scraping the bottom you can feel, well I can feel, the Hydrox um, potassium hydroxide sticking to the bottom of the jar. Once you stir it up like that, it will mix through really quickly and it's now suspended and reacting. So now we leave that to sit out of reach of animals, children, or anyone else thinks they're going to drink it. If you want, cover it with the chucks, but I'm going to leave it like that, let it go to room temperature, and then we'll do the next step.